Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, we're answering the question, how much strength gain should I see in a month? How about 90 days? But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get much better than that. So go ahead and take advantage of it. Ready? Let's dive into this one. All right, guys, the topic of today's video, how much strength gain should I be able to see in a month or up to 90 days time period? And we're going to look at this in a very realistic manner here. So first of all, the very first thing that we need to make sure that we understand is does our training program really support strength gain or how well does that training program support strength gain in the first place? And we kind of talked about this a little bit last week, if you were around watching that video, when we looked at reps and set schemes. So if you didn't watch that video, go ahead. I will link that one down below in the description and take a view at that so that you understand, first of all, how our design of our training program can really affect overall the amount of strength gain that we will see in a month in 90 days period over a course of a year. So we can build out our training program, which I also did a video on that that I'll link down below or I'll put one of them up above here. And that kind of explains how to design out your program into macro, meso, and micro cycles so that you can overall see the results that you wanna see. So first of all, if the training program does not support strength gain specifically, then we might not see as much progress as we would hope so. So there's a variable there in itself. The program right there that you're following is a big part of that. Now the second part of that will also be your actual lifting experience. So variable number two, how long have you been lifting? If you're a newbie at this and you're just getting into the gym, realistically, you're gonna see quicker strength gains than those who have been at it a little bit longer or who might be at more of an intermediate or advanced level. So the varying level of your lifting ability and your experience in the gym will also start to affect the overall strength gain that you will be able to see over time. That's two major keys right there that need to be in place and understood to understand the amount of gain that you're gonna be able to see over that month period and in it into 90 days. So realistically, if I am beginning and a completely newbie at it, or I haven't been training for a while and I start back up even, the likelihood that I'll gain strength is much greater in the beginning. Okay, especially if the program's designed well. So anywhere from 20 to 30% gain in strength is what we would expect to see. Now, I should mention also that we do need to be making sure that we're standardizing some form of test pre and post training program to make sure that we're not just using arbitrary figures to give myself strength gains. So these should be realistic tests that we're doing, whether that be barbell lifts, uh, body weight repetitions of some sort, and, and the strength will vary based off of the actual type and mode as well. So you wanna keep your testing consistent to make sure that it actually stands true as we do that. So if you started with a kettlebell lift of some sort and that was your test in the beginning, use that kettlebell again. If it was dumbbells, use the dumbbells again. If it was barbell, use the barbell setup again. So make sure your testing is consistent pre and post when you are looking at this from month to month or over 90 days. Now I would recommend overall that you do test after 90 days. One month, we're not gonna see extremely significant gains. So those newbie gains that you might see in one month period might be up to 10% gain over that 90 day period, that would be up to 20 to 30% is what we'd expect to see. Now, if you're more in that intermediate range of lifting weight there and you've been at it a little bit longer and you're doing another different type of program, but you're not quite what you'd consider advanced, which this is where most of us are gonna fall if we're being realistic with ourselves. Most of us are not professional athletes where we're training on a regular basis for competitions and meets and that kind of stuff and we shouldn't have that expectation for ourselves either. So when we're in that intermediate range, which most of us will fall, we're gonna see somewhere between 
10 and 15% strength gain over 90 days period. So if you break that up, you're starting to fall within, oh, maybe a 3% range, somewhere in there to, let's see, 5% range over that three month, in a month's time. So three to 5% in one month at the intermediate, intermediate level, 90 days, if we extrapolate that, it's anywhere from about 10% to 15% in that range. And then finally, if you are an advanced lifter, then we would expect that you would see the least amount of gains in that 90 day period. So if you've been at it longer, you're going to have a little bit more grinding to do to make those strength gains overall. And if you're at that advanced level, as you can imagine, it's gonna to start to fall anywhere below that 10% range over a 90 day period. So really, if we kind of bring that back down to a month in there for advanced lifters, which you're probably not gonna measure after a month anyhow, if you're an advanced list lifter, but it would be anywhere below that 3% range, zero to 3% we'll say. So those are the expectations and numbers that you should have when you are performing a strength program and what you can expect to gain in a month's time and extrapolate it out over three months and even out to a year if you really want to from there when you're designing your overall program. And hopefully that gives you guys some realistic numbers that you can work off of and use that for guidance so that you're not just kind of you know, taking a shot in the dark, dark with your strength gains when you're working out here and uh, really looking at, okay, am I seeing the progress that I should be able to see? Am I making that progress regularly? What does it look like overall? Was this an effective program? So you can use that to help measure those types of things in the long run. All right, and there you guys have it. How much strength gain should I see in a month, in 90 days, extrapolate it out to a year, realistically what should i expect out of my program what should i expect out of myself in this time period that's a realistic number to put on it if you guys like this video make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend who does some weight training who's doing some strength training and wants to build strength make sure they have realistic expectations of themselves as well that is an important factor psychologically that we really need to understand is, okay, am I truly making the progress that I want to be seeing or am I just kind of taking a shot in the dark and hoping that I'm going to hit the target on this one? So share the love with them. They need to know this stuff as well. If you guys are here and looking to improve your overall mobility for your strength training, then take a moment to drop by the description as well. I will be linking not only the videos that I mentioned before earlier in the video here, but also my seven day mobility training challenge. Now this is a challenge designed to help you guys identify any missing ranges of motion, flexibility and or motor control and patterning that are putting you really at risk for training aches and pains or injury. So if you have reoccurring aches and pains that just keep popping up and you can't really figure out where they're coming from, this is gonna help you guys really identify what is at the root cause of those aches and pains and where you're at risk for that injury if you haven't already had an injury because of those limitations that you currently have there. So it is completely free, 15 minute sessions, no equipment necessary. It does go over the course of seven days, like a mini course. So I give you some concepts of basic mobility technique rules and uh, how to go about it in the first place, the approach that we'd wanna take. And it is a nice little experience for you to give yourself a litmus test on that end of things as well. So take advantage of it. Get started today by signing up down below in that link. Last but not least, if you guys have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance in the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it does not get much better than that. So take advantage of it. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. I'll catch you guys next week.